Okay, I'm going to go through a recap of my 5.8 mile road walk run set performed Tuesday, 23 January 2024, Landy Inspired. I am Tannis Corley Leonardi. It's my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. I'm filming this Tuesday, 23 January 2024. So I went out and did my road walk run set, 5.8 miles, with a 3.64 miles of running and 2.16 miles of walking. And I got back, took a shower, had a snack, and now I'm doing this. So yes, my face is still pink. I worked, <laughs> I went fast today. Um, and my face is still cooling down. Um, so my time was 60.00 minutes. Average mile time running was 6 minutes and 20 seconds. Average mile time walking was 9 not 19 sorry 17 minutes and six seconds it marked my first john landy male australian runner uh, inspired walk run it also marked my first run or walk run in the 2024 year with my most recent before this being the same set on tuesday 26 december 2023 with a time that was 2.00 minutes slower than this time and my time was 2.00 minutes slower than my personal best time of 58.00 minutes from Friday, 27 October 2023. Okay, so that's the introduction. Why I chose today. So why did I choose today for the walk run? And uh, so I finished reading a book and at some point I got to get my first walk run uh, or run in for this year. It took me 23 days to get to it, <laughs> right? So, um, waiting that long of, I, I, the last time I did this, 23 plus what? 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, plus, plus 5, 23, so 28 days ago, or it's approximately, I uh, last ran, so, right? So it's been four weeks, so... Uh, choosing a day after that long of a break of not running um, is <laughs> well I'm I'm not I'm not ever ready <laughs> in some way um, so I chose today because I did not feel ready for it my woke up and my legs were more sore than they have been and I was like I feel horrible I'm not ready and so I'm doing it today that's why uh, and why would I do something when I feel horrible <laughs> and think I might not go well? Because I have, those are also, those tend to be the moments where I surprise myself the most. Uh, they can, it can also go very horribly. Um, but if I want to open it up to me surprising myself the most, then doing it when I am, do not feel great. Or not, I, I felt fine in some ways, but like I did not feel ready for it. That kind of horrible feel. Um, yeah. So I opened myself up to the possibility of it not being, of surprising myself. Yeah, And I'm not going to spoil it, so, so th that's the intro, why I chose today. Recap, so this is the meat of it. Road conditions. Uh, we've been having rain, It was, it, but it was not raining, and it was drying out, so the roads were damp and slick uh, in the places where the road was still wet. Uh, but not like sloshy wet, it was like damp wet, you know, like cars could skid easily on it kind of thing um and I have rubber soles on my running shoes that are worn a bit um but still slick road conditions they in uh so that's one thing the second thing was um they introduced new speedometers that have a handicap of two miles an hour so I was out there uh running and it was like seven eight miles an hour and I was like my car is usually off by about two miles an hour with these things and I was like if it was seven or eight miles an hour I would be going much slower as my total time um which is I'm happy way of saying I'm happy I time myself so if you were one of the runners I saw out there their speedometers are off by two miles there's a two mile an hour handicap so what it really meant is instead of it showed seven or eight miles an hour it fluctuated right but I was running nine to ten miles an hour um so if you were out there on there and I said hi or we saw each other when we were out running and you're like, dang it, how did I get so slow all of a sudden? You're not. The speedometer is off by two. It says it's two miles an hour slower than it actually is. And I timed myself and everything. And I've done that with my car in the past to make, like, actually measured it out and, and timed it and that kind of stuff to make sure um, that it is 
true for the vehicle so it's true for my car it's a car essential <laughs> but it's also not true for this human out there running um okay so those are road conditions weather conditions look like this sunny uh 52 degrees fahrenheit was the start temperature so hot that's hot for us some people have been having 60s and 70s we have not 50s are hot okay this is the seattle area uh Big city, yeah, in Washington State, United States of America, Planet Earth, the original, uh, 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it was the start temperature, so it was sunny. I wore sunscreen, and it was windy today. That was weather. Uh, audio, I took headphones, and I stopped listening to music at the 0 0.95 mile marker. So I did 4.85 miles without. And I did, of the 3.64 miles of running, I did 3.59 miles without music. I just, yeah, okay. Time. My final mark was 60.00 minutes. My, okay, my walking average was 17 minutes and 6 seconds, and my running average was 6 minutes and 20 seconds, which is, I approached this set, I left the house today and being like, I'm going to get a worse time on this set. I haven't done this in almost a month. And with no running, period. It's not just I haven't done this set, I haven't done running in almost a month so it's gonna be my, my reasonable expectation here would be my slowest time which is approximately 65 minutes i got across the finish line it was 60.00 minutes and i was like i'm five minutes ahead of schedule which is a lot of time um for this girly on a set like so there was like poof shock self-shock i surprised myself i was enough of a surprise that i would actually classify that as like self-shock well, that was spectacular. Like, dang. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. It, so, yeah, and it was 120 seconds, 2.00 minutes, slower than my personal best time of 58.00 minutes in the set from Friday, 27 October 2023. So to start the year after f approximately, approximately exactly four weeks off from running, um, with the end, uh, striking distance of my personal best time is kind of like I don't know if I've ever had that good of a start to a year with that long of a break I have run like at the beginning of the year uh, without really taking a long break but with that big of a break this is the best I've ever been which is really eye-opening to for a 30 plus year old you know 30 years of age or older category I'm like that's including my teenage self you know like it's eye-opening okay mental Invoking John Landy. Yeah, so I thought about John Landy as I ran. And whenever I like doubt entered, if if doubt was on the horizon, I was like, John Landy. What would John Landy do? What did John Landy do when he broke that world record? And he ran the 357.9 in the one mile run. And that I, I literally did that. And, um, so it was interesting to think about, and I caught, he, he was fast in that run, and he felt fast, and so what I did was John Landy, and do I feel fast? Well, I don't feel bad. Um, so, and so if I started to struggle at any point, I'd be like, do I feel fast? Not do I feel good, That's, those are very different things but do I feel fast? And I would recover my whatever went wrong um, back to feeling fast, which we'll get to on the physical. Social, I maintained my smile, wave, and say hi as um, kind of applicable approach. Uh, there was also on the third walking segment, I was coming up to the top of this hill, rounding the corner, and I heard the call of a bird. And it was a northern flicker. And northern flickers are loyal maters. Like they stay loyal to their mate. For, they mate for life. 
and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm a runner. Okay. And a ru I'm a road runner. <laughs> I can listen to this bird call as I'm out here. And I'm, I'm walking, so I'm a, a road walker and runner, but like, it was really cool. And especially since I'm out there thinking about John Landy, I'm like, maybe the bird wants to be John Landy too. So. Okay. Uh, and then last recap category, physical. It felt fast at times and was fast, which is, since it was still two minutes off my personal best time, uh, feeling fast at times and being fast is a, a great combination. I cramped up uh, like abdomen cramps on the second walking segment and those cramps tend to go away when I run. I'm not, a, I, I typically, de if I develop cramps that are like abdomen related, so like I would call lady cramps, um, they tend to go away when I run, which is why I actually prefer running to walking, um, and historically speaking as well. Uh, I actually like to run because my, my, my cramps go away. Um, and so I, I was the second walking segment and I started my second running segment and sure enough, you started running and the cramps went away. So just, yeah. um. And then, so that was one problem I had on the first running segment, I had a slight flare up with my lungs uh, towards the end of the running segment. And throughout the entire thing, my, my legs were not at the strength they were when I stopped running the set. So while my, I was faster, two minutes faster than the last time I ran this, walked and ran this, my legs were nowhere near as strong. Um, so that's always a weird, experience when I can be fast but my legs aren't there so to speak um it's 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 scary because if the legs aren't there uh I've done in California I actually struggled with that a lot um leg uh fast time with not strong legs is when a runner collapses and so I hadn't had the leg strength problem yet since I returned to road running back in what was it, August 2023. So it's a little bit of an adjustment. All right, po post set celebration. Try and get new road running shoes before the end of the weekend. Yes, so today went better than anticipated, better than expected. So bringing the shoes into the picture. Now that I have a run, run or walk run under the belt for the year, I still need those new shoes. <laughs> So getting it done and, and viewing it as a celebration, I was just kind of the, this is a huge, um, out fast this year, um, and faster and better than that sense with a longer break than I've ever been. So, and that's really kind of cool. Um, and to do it, uh, yeah, oh wait, okay. So that's this, this post-set celebration. And then last thing before just, uh, Salutation, I suppose. Okay, well, takeaways. Uh, invoking John Landy. I was out there and I got back and I was looking at my personal best times and going back through my notes and stuff. And any barrier I have, lingering doubts that I could improve upon my 58.00 minutes personal best time are gone after invoking John Landy. I'm like, I, I am my own coach, so it was my decision to do that in trying to kind of think through his running style and approach while I was out there. Um, actually really worked. I don't know if I would do it every time, um, but it is something to, I am honored to say this was a Landy inspired performance. And I, that's the contextualization for, for this athletic performance is a performance from the 1950s can still fuel runners in two th at least one runner, this runner, Tannis Coley Leonardi in 2024. So, uh, or, or no particular road runner. So that's really cool. The legacy of a runner can last a long time. So in conclusion, that's my recap of my 5.80 mile road walk run set. Performed Tuesday, 23 January 2024. Landy inspired. I'm Tannis Corley Leonardi. This is my YouTube channel, Tannis Leonardi. Thank you for joining me.